love you. Bye. Good morning, California. Uh huh. Okay, Dad's getting our fresh water. We've just gotten our room, so it's time for a little room tour. Dun da da da. Bathroom, shower, very cool blue colors. Um, like look at the sink. Okay, bathroom, bathtub, bathtub opening directly into bedroom. Um, gorgeous painting. We enter here, lovely beds, and directly, no screen, <laughs> open to the ocean. <laughs> Here's two of the six swimming pools. It's very warm here, it's about 80 degrees, not humid. All I wanna do is jump into the ocean right now. Everyone here so far has asked us how many weeks we plan on staying. We're here for 24 hours, so. Clearly this is a place you come to live for a good long while. Officially exploring the resort. So here's one pool option. Here is, okay, it has a little bridge that is so cool. Here is the clear spot someone is going to like get proposed to if they haven't been already. By the way, because we left New York City in such a rush, I didn't have time to grab a purse. So my makeshift purse and beach bag is my Glossier makeup bag. Look at that, I just emptied it and now it's my purse. It's, there's nobody on the beach. This is so gorgeous. Anyways, huge resort. The verdict is there are a ton of pools, bars, and ways to get to the beach. So we're gonna try the beach first. Someone's definitely getting married right there, which is so cool. This is the ideal marriage location. I'm just like making my footprints through their, through their marriage area. Look at this view. Here is just like half of the resort right there. Yeah, I'm looking back at the past and I feel regret. So I wanna walk on the block, see where we met. Try to forget that you went on with someone else instead. two-hour makeup routine in this dimly lit bathroom but as you saw just a little tanning swimming got some pizza and a pina colada oh wait where is my pina colada? pina colada at the pool um and now i found out that we were getting picked up for dinner at six o'clock which is in 45 minutes um uh, my dad's friend lives here so we're gonna go have dinner at his house and i really want to show you his house but i don't want to meet someone for the first time and like be a creep just like recording their home so we'll see how that goes but right now it is makeup time look at everything my face needs to consume in the next 30 minutes <laughs> i don't know what do you guys think does this look natural this definitely doesn't look natural oh god here's the final look we're off to dinner as the sun is setting. So gorgeous. Wow. Hand rolled cigars. Yeah. So so we're we're gonna gonna have this is the uh, hotel dinner tonight, which we are skipping, but they're having a fiesta. It looks great. I'm gonna put the study to the side. See, keep coming at me every day and night. 
When I lived in my life, started feeling right. I was wondering if I could um, schedule a full body massage for today. If you had anything this morning available. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, guys. Here's this morning's look. I um, drank a lot of alcohol last night for the first time since this new year. It is a lot of like tequila, which was delicious, but terrible, a terrible idea. So I'm a little slow moving this morning, but I think I'm gonna go post up in the hot tub and walk around, see what everyone's up to at 7 a.m. and then go get a massage. <laughs> This is the outdoor spa. Oh, look at this little towel swans kissing. So cool. There's lots of flavored water I'm just chugging. But I'm waiting here until I get ready for my massage. I just finished and it was incredible. And every time I finish a massage, oh my god, I like talk in slow motion for an hour. I also um, I got a full body massage and I also got a mezcal facial because that's what I need right now. Mezcal in my body. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I think now I'm gonna go get some breakfast. and it is so crazy. I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Entering from the garage, come in here. This is one bedroom, giant. This We're on the second floor, giant opening over here. Okay, this is my bedroom, huge closet. This is the bathroom, two sinks. It's a huge shower. Oh my god. Okay. Keep stay with me here. This is the bed. Unreal. This is like a private little patio deck just for this bedroom. Look at this place. This is a view. That's a swimming pool with a foot. Because everyone here is a foot and ankle doctor. Hot tub you just sleep with the door open allegedly okay more of the second floor there's five other bedrooms but they're all occupied so i'm not going to show you dining room table one like living room area there's another tv room over there all right, let's go downstairs. Oh, look, look at this. Unreal. They're watching TV in there. We have huge, huge, 
huge kitchen. This like giant kitchen island, seats 10, fridge, pantry. And you know it's a legit pantry when you walk into it and it's a separate room. Um, <laughs> just unbelievable. The decorations are amazing. There's a crazy stacked bar over there. These doors are open all the time. This is the outdoor, outdoor kitchen, grilling area. Another dining set. Like look, this is a whole other side of the house. It's just bedrooms. Um, like, hello? <laughs> this is so crazy. Pool, lots of unbelievable view. And then down there is just like this whole other beach area where all the beach toys, activities, and water sports stuff happens, but I'll show you that later. That is the end of the rough cut house tour. It is so crazy here. It just, I cannot believe that somebody lives here. I think the next thing I need to do is test out the giant swimming pool with a foot. It is just waiting for someone to jump in it. The only thing is, like, do I wear my goggles? Is that gonna be weird for everyone else? We are off to the pool. woke up from, I think, a two hour nap out in the sun. My face was just like covered in drool. <laughs> I don't think I'm sunburned. I think the sun's like, it's kind of cooling down a little bit because it's later in the day. So that was lucky, but I need to go inside now. I need to like shower and get back to my human form. On my walk back up here, I just met the two private chefs, this home has two private chefs and they are cooking something that smells incredible right now. So I guess that is what we were doing for dinner, which is a great time because, um, great timing because I'm very hungry. Oh my God. I'm finally ready. This is the outfit for tonight. It's just this whole all white, all linen set. And I feel like I'm going to definitely spill something on myself and I'm only gonna have myself to blame. I have a band-aid tan line. Do you see that? My God. Also, I look like a donut right now because I'm trying to put sunscreen on. Your sunscreen is so weird. Yesterday I got like a little bit of a burn, so I'm kind of gonna go overboard today on sunscreen. The plan is everyone else in this house is working right now. They're working for the next couple hours. So I'm gonna go tan for a couple hours this morning and then we're all gonna go to this like beach club together um, once they all finish up. This is literally the freshest pineapple, the freshest and sweetest pineapple I've ever had. The other side of the coast and birth their, their, uh, their calves as they head back to uh, uh, Alaska. With their babies? With their babies. We just finished up lunch over there, and now I'm exploring the insane beach club. So here's a volleyball court. Here's a giant outdoor gym, which is so cool. There's like a shop over there. Also the weights at this gym are made of like wood, but obviously still really heavy. I've just never seen anything like it before. Like look at this. This is so freaking cool. Okay, so we have this gym. It's like a playground outside. We have an outdoor shop, a lounge area, a permanent pong table, all these water toys, like these like electric bikes and kayaks, huge swing set, boats. There's a swimming pool up there we'll go to later. But I decided I'm gonna go snorkeling. And I'm gonna use this like motor powered jet to help me like go underwater faster. Actually sounds dangerous when I say it like that, but should be good, I'm excited. Guys, I just did the motorized thing and it was so crazy. 
like having an Olympic swimmer drag me around and underwater while I just like looked at a bunch of fish. So, so cool. But oh, now I just also drink a lot of salt water as I always do whenever I snorkel. I drink like five cups of salt water. I can't explain why. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we're gonna go check out the pool now. Just like immediately, hot tub. This is so cool. So there's like nobody here. So it feels like How was that thing? It was so cool. It literally like it takes all the work of swimming out of it. It just drags you around. Yeah, you can go underwater and I was really scared because I was like, I'm gonna drown, but it only goes under like one foot. So oh, you yeah. can like lift your head up if you need to. Looks like we're in Greece because look at these freaking lounge chairs. Oh my god, in the water. There's like submerged ones and then there's just like half ones and then there's day beds. I got a post up on the day bed. Everyone, here is the view. I literally feel like I am in heaven. This is the most luxurious, beautiful, private place I have ever vacationed in my entire life. at this entire beach club which is nice that was like the crazy best nap of my entire life I think it was like a dreamless sleep which sounds creepy but was actually very peaceful <laughs> I don't know I just feel very relaxed wait I forgot to tell you guys I, I saw a bunch of whales earlier in the ocean um, this is like a really hugely popular area for whales and their children to be swimming and playing around and we've been, we've seen them like all afternoon uh, we saw them once at lunch and i tried to get a little clip but it was so cool and everyone's like very casual about it everyone carries binoculars on them here on their person because it's just like very commonly known that whales will always be over there um like it's not even a special occasion anyways tonight we are going to have dinner at a friend's house um they have a really really cool house here i'm gonna try to discreetly record without being a creep but i'm gonna go back um to the house right now and get ready for dinner all right here's my loops the one thing about loops that i don't like is that they have so much packaging there's so much plastic that goes into one sheet looking like a psycho murderer here is tonight's dinner look i'm wearing the same dress i wore on my birthday this year it's kind of got this weird like cinch right here but i'm just gonna roll with it um so everyone is downstairs waiting i'm literally the last one ready but there's like music bumping already <laughs> i think we're gonna go stop and get some fancy schmancy wines and then go to the friend's house for dinner um, this is a bedroom and you open this little hole and it goes into the swimming pool swimming pool which is oh my god like 10 feet deep to jump off the roof oh my god understand it still but uh the dinner was great there was an incredible chef there um it was like a whole five hour extravaganza i actually need to end the video here because this is my last night in cabo tomorrow morning we wake up and we head on to our next adventure which is la for the week and then back to new york city and then once we get back to the city it's just gonna be non-stop but i'm going to obviously 
vlog at all so i cannot wait to show you everything but thank you for following me along on the cabo adventure i hope you enjoyed watching the um chaotically stitched together clips of what we've been up to in the last 48 hours um yeah that's it thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye enjoy the moment be happy and a big kiss to all of you take care